Hello everyone, hope you all are doing very well. The mind map for the deep learning study map you are seeing is actually created by the chat GPT. Not only that, this mind map, the original detailed deep learning study plan is also created by the chat GPT, what you are seeing in front of you. So for those who are new to my YouTube channel, my name is Avkash and in this video, we are going to learn how to utilize chat GPT to create the study plan for any particular topic you are interested in. And after the study plan is created, you can also create the mind map and take that mind map and using any publicly available tools where the type of mind map, mind map format is accepted you can build your visible mind map which can be shared as image to anybody else so let's get ourselves started so in this tutorial our objective is to create the study plan specific to deep learning so we can ask chat gpt to create the study plan for the deep learning so here we are creating the study plan for the deep learning. So this is the plan which has been created for the base deep learning, which has the mathematics for deep learning, programming, Python specific uh, to Python programming, then introduction to machine learning, and the deep learning, and then deep learning applications, various projects, and then keep learning yourself. We can change this request to go a little more deeper, and you could say, that create the detailed study plan for the deep learning for a graduate student. And let's see the changes in this study plan compared to the one which we have created previously. Now, if you look into the comparison, because we have asked ChatGPT to create the study plan for a graduate student, so prerequisite, we need to know the linear algebra, calculus, probability and statistics, plus programming in Python, then the machine learning introduction, deep learning fundamentals, advanced deep learning, the applied deep learning, optimization and the regular, regularization techniques, debugging and the debugging techniques and the performance evaluation and the model interpretation, research and future direction. So it has been changed quite differently for a graduate student. So it's better for us to stick with the detailed study plan but we can actually bypass the need of graduate students. So it will be for anyone. So this request will be create the detailed study plan for the deep learning. Now, in this request, we have asked for detailed study plan for the deep learning, but we haven't gave a label for the student or the applicability for the topic. We have got prerequisite and about 10 different chapters related to deep learning. So here, rather than using deep learning, we are asking for comprehensive study plan for the deep learning and see if there are any changes. And here is the comprehensive study plan for the deep learning. And as you can see that there are 12 different topics and within the each topics, some of the information related to the textbook and their name and title along with the writer has been given in almost in every section just by using the comprehensive study plan. So detailed and comprehensive, the use of these two words for your deep learning study plan has changed the results completely. And that's a very important point to be noted. If you would want to convert them to the topic, so, so you can say actually our prompt is create the topics for the deep learning study plan. And now here is the uh, here is a list of topics related to comprehensive study plan for the deep learning. If you take the same request, try to go more deeper, detailed topic list for the deep learning study plan. So for each of these topics, now we are getting the internal topics for each one. So for each topic which we have seen earlier, we actually got the topics and within the topics we have more information for example here it's include linear algebra here we know within the linear algebra we need to understand the matrices vectors matrix operations 
eigen decomposition as well as the SVD and PCA. We can take this study plan and make it little more detailed and we could say the topics and subtopic list and see what happens. And while this list is being created, as you could see that our first topic was the mathematics for deep learning. In the mathematics for deep learning, we had the linear algebra and here were the subtopics, calculus, differential, partial uh, derivations, gradients, optimization. And now if you look into here, you can get that within the optimization, we need to learn the maxima and minima, PCA, SVD. So you can get an idea that just asking for detailed topics and subtopics list, we get a deep learning study plan, which is even the bigger uh, in terms of content. And it also has the really, really nice, the topic and subtopics division built into. And as you see here that the result has been broken. So you can actually type the continue and it will complete the remaining list. So it was stopped at eight. Now you see that nine and then rest is everything is being added into. And looking at this list, as you can see here that we had 12 topics in previous with the detailed topics and subtopic list. Now we have actually almost 14 of these topics. And if we would want to even go deeper, we can go each and every topic and we can learn even more content. What we really need to learn is specific to federated learning or explainable AI. So we have added along with the deeper topics for the deep learning study plan. Continue. So even when we asked chat GPT to go to deeper topics, we have got a little different topic list. So now if you would want to use either this one or this one, we can select or we can actually manually combine these two things together to build our detailed deep learning study plan. So in the next step, I will copy and paste these two different topic list. So the first list, topics and subtopics. So after we have taken the study plan detailed with subtopics and topics in the Google Docs, now we can actually ask chat GPT to help us create the mind map. So, so the first question we can ask, what is mind map? So you can get an idea. After the mind map, the so create the mind map for the previously described detailed topics and subtopic list for the deep learning study plan. And as you could see that chat GPT is saying that I will not be able to create the mind map for it. Now we take the same request and you can say, so let's create the simple mind map for the previously described topics. So for the same plan, as you could see here that it could create the textual representation of a simple mind map. So rather than asking the mind map, you can actually say, let's create a simple text mind map for the previously described topics. So can you give me the mind map in the plant UML format? And now you see here that is creating a simple text mind map for the previously described topics in the plant UML format. Right. Looking into here, you can get an idea that about how the mind map format for the plant UML is created. So you can take any timeline and you can convert it. It means if we, we want to take this whole timeline or the topic list, we want to create this on a plant UML format, we can actually just use the star, two star, three star, depending on how deep we really need to go. And that will be fairly easy to create the plant UML based mind map list as a text and it, it starts with mind map and it ends with mind map. So I have taken this detailed topic list and here as you could see that I have created the plant UML format. All the topics and the subtopics and the internal topics they all have star two star or three star and even if you want to add the more deeper level you just make this four star and that's how you will be able to create the plant UML format text. Now we will take this, copy this whole text, go to draw.io 
which basically opens this untitled di diagram and here you can go to arrange then we need to go to insert and within the insert you see that there are options for layout and advanced so we need to go to advanced and here is the plant uml format so if you take this plant uml the topic list which we have created you can paste here all the way so start mind map all the way to the end and insert and as you can see that here is a list of all of our topics related with deep learning study plan has been created so you can take this whole mind map you can say export as and export as png and transparent background so you can overlay on any particular image export download so that's our mind map and as you can see that all of these topics has been added properly and the whole mind map has been created for your deep learning study plan very last if you would want to get the list of all your prompts you can ask chat gpt to give you give me the list of all prompts and as you can see here that when i ask give me the list of all prompts chat gpt is giving me the list of prompts it has which is actually what chat gpt is supposed to give you however you need to be very specific to chat gpt and you can say give me the list of all prompts i asked in this session and now you can see that these are the prompts which i have asked to chat gpt and this is the list of all the prompts is available for us you can also get the list of all of these prompts in the description section of this video as you can see that the tool section for the deep learning study is really very small so if we would want to enhance it we can actually just select that particular topic and ask chat gpt to add more details to it so the prompt is add more details with topics and subtopics specific to tools and libraries for deep learning and looking into the this list and this list now you have better idea that which list could be very useful for yourself so comparing it we get details about these two but we didn't did not get details about python programming as well as the libraries we can ask that as well what are the detailed python topics and subtopics topics for the deep learning study but at least this list gives you some of the information we needed in order to be mastery in python so that we could prepare ourselves for the deep learning programming so we can incorporate this as well so i have taken the response from last two prompts which we have asked for chat gpt and added all that content to in this mind map which we have already created earlier and i have separated the tools and library section as well as the python programming section separately and i have taken the python programming and put it at the very top so very top is the python programming and then after the mathematics for deep learning and we will change the layout here 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 is the newer layout and this newer layout as you can see that is start with python programming first then after it actually goes to the mathematics for deep learning introduction to machine learning and all the way to the topics which we have already created earlier and now the updated mind map for the deep learning study has been created for us and which is visible here and at the very last here is the detailed deep learning study topics for all the way to 15 chapters which includes topics and the subtopics and this list will also be available at the description section of this video so as we planned we have created the study plan for the deep learning and it's quite detailed study plan for the deep learning which we have created you can follow the same method same prompt style and the tricks we have used to create the study plan for any other topic whether it's a technical or non-technical with the help of chat gpt and finally you can convert that particular plan to a mind map as well i hope you have enjoyed the content i do appreciate your time 
and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much.